I'm Allegro Al, and I will be demonstrating some of Allegro's great new products. I will also be providing procedural instruction to ensure your safety. Saccharin Fit Test Procedure Qualitative Fit Test Instructions Part Number 2040 Understand all of the instructions before using this product. The Allegro Qualitative Saccharin Fit Test Kit includes one test hood, two nebulizers with labels, one box of sensitivity solution applicators, one box of fit test solution applicators, and two sets of replacement nebulizer inserts. Setup. Prepare hood. Take the two top corners and snap them together. Prepare solutions. Remove the sensitivity and the test solutions applicator from the storage box. Mark the nebulizers with the sensitivity and test solutions labels. Wear rubber or latex gloves. Point the fill tip upwards. This is important to prevent the solution from squirting out. To crush the glass ampule inside the tube, use your thumb and your forefinger and pinch along the full length of the applicator tube. Do not bend the tube. Prepare solutions. Remove the end cap from the nebulizer. Insert the applicator tip into the opening of the nebulizer. To transfer the solution to the nebulizer, squeeze the applicator tube until it is completely drained. Do not remove the tip of the applicator. Do not puncture or cut the tip of the applicator. Dispose of the applicator once completely drained. Replace the end of the cap on the nebulizer until the test is ready to be performed. Fit Test Procedure Now the subject should have been through an orientation explaining why and what type of respirator is needed. The test subject should not eat drink or chew gum 15 minutes before the test. Explain to the subject that there are two tests given. Sensitivity test. The sensitivity test solution is a diluted mixture of saccharin. This test assures that the person being tested can detect the taste of saccharin at a very low level. If the subject cannot detect the taste of saccharin, another method of fit testing must be used. Fit test. Once established saccharin can be tasted, the subject will begin the fit test. The subject will be asked to don a respirator, do a series of light exercises, and read a short paragraph. Sensitivity test. The subject dons a hood without respirator. The hood is positioned with approximately six inches between the face and the window. Instruct the subject to breathe through their mouth with their tongue extended. Spray the sensitivity test solution, nebulizer number one, through the hole in the window into the hood. The bulb should be fully collapsed and expanded on each squeeze. Direct the nozzle away from the nose and the mouth. Spray ten times. Ask the subject if they can detect the taste of saccharin. Note the number of squeezes if detected. The test threshold is noted as ten regardless of the number of squeezes actually completed. Proceed with the fit test. If not, spray an additional 10 squeezes into the hood. Repeat 10 more squeezes if still not tasted. If after 30 squeezes the subject cannot taste saccharin, the fit test cannot be performed. Remove the hood. Give the subject a few minutes to clear the taste from their mouth before proceeding with the fit test. The saccharin fit test is performed using particulate filters. Instruct the subject to indicate if there is a detection of saccharin at any time during the test. Have the subject don the respirator they have previously chosen. Don and position the hood as in the sensitivity fit test. Instruct the subject to breathe through the mouth. Spray the fit test solution, nebulizer number two, through the hole in the hood. Use the same number of full bulb squeeze as required in the sensitivity test. Inject one half of the number of squeezes used above every 30 seconds. Instruct the subject to perform the following exercises for 60 seconds each. Normal breathing, deep breathing, turning head side to side, nodding head up and down, talking or reading out loud. The rainbow passage is suggested. Normal breathing. The test is successful if the subject completes the test without detecting the taste of saccharin. The test has failed if saccharin is detected. The entire procedure must be repeated with a different respirator.
the latest revision of OSHA 29 CFR 1910.134 has unified all fit test exercises. Some slight differences exist when testing traditional style respirators versus filtering facepiece style respirators. Check the OSHA standard before conducting the fit test exercises. The Rainbow Passage Cleaning Dispose of the solutions immediately after the test is complete. Rinse the nebulizers with warm water to prevent clogging. Wipe out the inside of the hood with a damp cloth or paper towel.